this new series is to understand how much the young generation know about sustainable ethical fashion and minimal wardrobe this is the generation that decides what kind of clothes they like and they have the power to influence the fashion trends i have dr ankana das with me today she just finished her mbbs and she works in the rural setup let's hear a bit about her from her hi ankana welcome to my world share about yourself to the audience hey my name is dr ankana das and i have recently started working in a, in a rural setup under the government of west bengal and uh, as uh, you'll go through the conversation you'll come to know more about me i just want to focus on your wardrobe choices in our conversation today let's start with understanding your life in general so my first question to you would be how is your work day like is it like too busy or do you get a uh, free time on my work days uh, generally i won't say i get a free time or something because uh, i stay here at home and i have to travel around 100 kilometers because i work in a uh, rural hospital and then uh, after that i go there i do my outdoors sometimes i have to travel from one hospital to the other also because uh, we have many small uh, like sub centers or primary healthcare hospitals in which we also have to give services and then it's generally like the entire day i keep uh, running and then when i'm indoors in the emergency then uh, a lot of patients we have to cater to that sounds like too busy a day uh, okay so let's just get into a little knowledge about fashion what is fast fashion according to you do you know that word did you hear about it actually fast fashion according to me is people exploiting fashion because these days like uh, people they just don't know how to value their clothes or in general the fashion style because uh, like trends will come and go but uh, people need to respect the wardrobe choices and uh, the things they have in already have in their wardrobe like i would uh, point out an instance from um, my side that is like a year or two back like i was also into this whole trends thing like i was always like i used to buy new clothes but then i couldn't use it to the fullest and then it just used to remain in my wardrobe like keep staying there but i think after coming to know more about this fast fashion thing i think i have started to like think about my wardrobe choices and i've started building my wardrobe in that way that's like very interesting i can see that you have some knowledge about this and you are able to manage your wardrobe in a nice way so uh, let me move on to my next question how do you decide what kind of clothes you want to buy so when you go for shopping what is it on your head one thing that uh, always these days i've started like valuing is my work profile so as i said that i uh, work in a rural setup so it happens that i and i'm a doctor also and like i can't wear anything and everything to the hospital because uh, it's just that my work doesn't suit that thing and even people want to see me in a way that they can have that sense of trust and confidence because uh, in rural india like uh, things are not as easy as it is in urban india so uh, i generally decide according to that and secondly is these days i travel a lot as i said that i have to travel a lot and it's a lot of work so i generally use cotton clothes that is like i'm very comfortable in and moreover i like i i go for comfort these days that's a great answer as you said yes rural india rural places need different kind of clothes you can't wear anything and everything and as um, your profession calls for it so you need to wear according to that so now my next question is as you are a doctor i imagine that you have to wear a coat or a uniform kind of thing on a regular basis so correct me if i am wrong about that other than that what kind of clothes do you wear 
on a daily basis to work like uh, do you wear sarees do you wear churidars or do you wear western like kurtas and pajamas what do you wear actually if i say my thing then i do not wear sarees at all okay <laughs> because draping a saree and then walking around and people who are comfortable it's really great for them but yeah. then i don't think so i would be able to carry that saree uh, like that you know like really a good manner so i okay. wear generally kurtis or uh, long kurtas tunics sometimes very rarely i wear shorts and all also so it's uh-huh. generally formal or this is indo western or indian like i'm very like i wear light colors because i think that during the summers is good also and then it it, it feels nice because a loud colors and all those things i don't i generally avoid it's not that i don't like i avoid uh, during my regular days what about your uniform do you wear that coat like everybody shows in the tv or movies that <laughs> actually, coat that that status quo all those things yeah yeah we do wear those apron and we wear those uh, stethoscopes also but sometimes like i said no like i work in a rural setup and it's not like uh, here the corporate ones that uh, you have acs all around and all so yeah. it's generally when we feel too hot then we just don't wear or wear sometimes like that and it's really hot this is yeah i totally get it yeah the heat <laughs> yes i agree and now moving on to my next question how many clothes do you buy in a year like what are the occasions that you buy clothes for before i answer this question i would like to like dive into the past like two years back from my experience i would say that uh, i was so highly inspired by this youtube haul videos or uh, this fashion blogger or influencer thing whatever you call it that i generally used to keep buying clothes like anything like uh, whatever i used to see i used to like and then clothes are now it is a lot cheaper than it used to be before if you see like that and one experience that i would point out from this is like it was uh, my mom's birthday so one very famous influencer like she showed a kurta okay and i liked it a lot so i didn't and like she was saying all the good things about it and then i bought that kurta and then uh, when i gifted it to my mom she was like it's so like plastic it's polyester and like when i wear this kurta it will like uh, it will eat on my body and uh, and i was like i didn't understand since i was young more like i didn't understand that what what the things you should keep in mind before you purchase something so yeah. i think whatever clothes i had man i had bought then then i have many of them because all you can't throw it out at once and last i think 2 years i have completely like cut down on my shopping like if you say it and i buy like if i like a thing a lot then only i buy otherwise i do not like i completely restrict myself and one more thing i would like to point out here is like if this uh, influencer or fashion bloggers whatever they are buying then uh, they are doing so many haul videos and where are they storing those clothes like uh, if we are going to buy in that massive quantities where like it's a storage problem then money and all is also going to waste only i totally get your point there uh, actually i agree with your haul video uh, influencing um, there was a time when i was making these haul videos and as you correctly pointed out i didn't know where to keep so many clothes i don't wear those many clothes just mm. for the video sake i can't buy clothes keep buying clothes. yeah i decided no haul videos on my channel unless i am buying for my use like i generally yeah. buy once a year nowadays like only for mm. our birthdays so when i yeah. buy if i feel like sharing with the audience then only i share because i don't yeah. want to influence everybody thinking ki okay these kind of clothes are good like how you bought for your mom so yeah. i don't want to do that so i stopped 
Yeah, actually one thing I would want to point out that influencers should be very clear about what they like if even if uh, the brand is sending them then they have they should say in the beginning only that brand has sent me and I'm going to return it to the brand. And like these things are not staying with us. Most of the times they don't return. This mm. fashion thing is like a crazy thing. They just yeah. keep keep them and they keep wearing them. And while mm. doing this uh, haul videos and all they earn money also. So with yeah. that, they get more, more and more space, like new wardrobe, mm. keep all these mm. new clothes. So they want to yeah. just wear and show, show it to the videos. They create content, right? They wear so many clothes. They don't want to repeat yeah. the clothes. So they, yeah. their purpose is served. But the yeah. videos and the, the content which they are creating is uh, giving a bad uh, influence to the others. So that much yeah. they should think and uh, do their Yeah, videos. actually they should be clear that it's our profession. So, okay, fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, like we as youngsters, we get highly like... Um, we see that wow it's looking good and then i should buy it and then when it comes to us first of all it's not getting used to the fullest like we can't wear so many clothes and some of the clothes are so impractical you can't even wear outside like people would if you go via public transport then people would like kill them money kill you with their eyesight soon and <laughs> i then, totally get it i totally get it okay let's move on to the next question when you're talking okay. about this uh shopping and uh the uh, haul videos and the way you minimized your shopping so now I want to ask you, uh, did you ever think about having a minimal wardrobe? Um, do you know about it? I've been researching on all this since uh, last, I think, two years. And so one thing I would like to point out here, uh, out here is that my father, he always had a minimum wardrobe. Like <laughs> Since I was a child, I always saw him having some five sets of clothes for his office. And that was it. Like, I won't say that, uh, like, for us, it's applicable because we are girls. We need to wear for other occasions also. But, yeah, like, having a, mi a minimal wardrobe is a great thing, like, it gives you a sense that okay fine for this like i have these many clothes i have to restyle them and these are the clothes that i would wear but one thing here also i would like to point out is nowadays what people do is, do are they like buy whatever they clothes they have they just throw it out and they buy some others and they stack it around but that is also not good like uh, minimalism for me is like wearing your own like wardrobe like you mm -hmm. can't like throw everything out and again then you stack it and you say it minimal wardrobe that creates more problems i think you said you have you bought so many clothes um, in past years mm -hmm. so when you decide on having the minimal wardrobe a little like how your father was having so if you want mm -hmm. to have that kind of minimal wardrobe for yourself the number of the clothes might be different but what will you do with the other clothes and what will you do with the spoiled clothes? First thing, I think I have, uh, like, uh, my size has changed uh, last one year. So some clothes have already gone there because... Um, if your size changes, you can't keep them. And uh, then some of the clothes, like, which get spoiled because of uh, that, you can't, like, uh, those clothes, we just make it into the sweepers, um, like, sweeping thing or, like, yeah we call it and then uh, um, like a lot of clothes we have, like I have donated also then I uh, also DIY some clothes which I can really wear and uh, I have a Instagram page name and crafty you can check it out I've seen that uh, DIY channel I've seen some products which you have made they are really creative those are really good and I really like the way you try to use them to make something out of the old clothes that's really good if you look at me like i have only four colors in my uh, wardrobe over like five to six years i have also reduced completely and mm. uh, i only use only four colors now black red white and blue blue because i have denims mm. denims are mm. very strong uh, fabric i don't want to leave them so would you like to wear only your favorite colored clothes every day what are your favorite colors? Uh, actually, I like light colors and I like white and blue. 
because uh, these two colors uh, you can say it's my favorite because white and blue i wear uh, generally and light colors i have been uh, like wearing lately a lot because uh, i like light colors i have uh, stressed on them that uh, because of my work profile also i yeah. like wearing light colors so it's like that and yes i had seen your videos earlier also like you used to show there also i have seen many of your like wardrobe choices as that oh yes i just remembered that you used to watch my videos right you told me once yeah thank you so much for watching okay <laughs> now mo moving on if i tell you that there are these famous people like uh, steve jobs and mark zuckerberg and barack obama they wear only uh, one kind of outfit to save their time and energy would you choose to follow that idea or at least think of reducing the number of clothes you own i would answer the second part of the question first that uh, i'm thinking of reducing the number of clothes i own but if you ask me that if i want to wear one kind of clothes uh, yeah. every day or not as an indian girl i would say no <laughs> and maybe i haven't reached the place of uh, those famous celebrities and uh, so i would not like to wear those clothes because i find it extremely boring <laughs> <laughs> okay i get it i get it yeah indian women prefer wearing all colorful and nice happening stuff i totally get it so now if if there is a place um, to teach you more about minimal wardrobe would you choose to learn from them and implement those habits in your uh, wardrobe choices yes definitely i think minimalism is something that we as middle class indians have uh, like uh, seen since childhood like when i was a child i remember that uh, we used to buy clothes in only certain occasions like that also one once or twice a year i guess and we used to go with our parents and buy and then we never saw this like massive splurge of clothes and massive splurge of money on clothes and uh, so i think minimalism is something every indian or everyone as a whole like in the uh, entire world should learn because uh, like this is something which is necessary not only for our existence because every year uh, the amount of this carbon emissions they are increasing every year and uh, most of them like they come from the fashion industry and uh, secondly is it is harming us as a whole because uh, first of all it's harming the ma marine life or it's harming the like soil also and so i think minimal wardrobe is exactly like it's definitely a great uh, initiative or a step for the future i completely agree with you uh, fashion is the second uh, most pollutant industry in the whole world so it's leaving so much pollution into the world and it's ruining everything and this this change has happened as you are correctly saying when we were young we used to buy like uh, once or twice but now it's uh, the whole fashion is is completely available at the tip of our fingers like we we can just crawl and shop anytime anywhere and that is beneficial only to that business owner not to us because we have hundreds of clothes lying in our wardrobe why do we need one more uh, new clothes so it's it's a wrong thing so we all need to go minimal in uh, everything we choose in our life like one thing i would like to say is like denims okay we don't need like i think hundreds of denims in our wardrobe like we can have just some basic ones and that will do the job like if you want then you can keep a uh, one or two more than you just need but people i think every month they are buying denims every month they are buying thousands of clothes and that is not necessary okay fine it's benefiting the brand as a whole but it's harming us in the wrong way hmm. true it's not only about denims the other clothes also we don't need so mm -hmm. many mm -hmm. yeah like Definitely. how you were saying you might need like a uh 10 to 20 garments maybe for mm. a week for mm. you specifically you go to rural area maybe sweating maybe heat maybe yeah, yeah. 
40 clothes but you don't hmm. need hundreds and thousands of uh, tops or shirts or anything 40 clothes a week is also too much i think too much i think i can manage with five sets of clothes or six only for my work wear because i get to wash those so it's not necessary to have like i think 40 or 50 or whatever amount because you yes. can always wash the clothes uh, and dry them and you always have those options so it's completely yes, up to you so true so true i'm so happy to hear that from you because that's what i do with my clothes i have like 10 15 clothes in my wardrobe that's it mm. so i mm. just uh, rotate them but the mm. only thing is you need to take care of those clothes you, you mm. just cannot just wash and bang 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 mm. and mm -hmm. wash it that way mm. take care of them and yeah. dry it nicely iron it and keep it nicely that's mm. how you should take care of your clothes everything should be respected so it's the thing with our clothes also like when you come from heat it's so hectic the entire day but when i change my clothes i just hang it on top of uh, some rope or something so that the sweat that is there that is like air dried for the instance then i, I can go and wash it like immediately if i don't want to wash it that is the way i can just hang it and so that it will air dry also so that's a good way to keep Take care. That's a very good habit you have and please continue with that. Don't stop. Mm -hmm. Take care of your clothes. And um, yeah, this is the end of our conversation. Thank you so <laughs> much for being here today. I totally enjoyed our conversation. Yeah, me too. And thank you for giving me this opportunity. I've never done anything as such, but it was really good. I wanted uh, a perspective of youngsters like you and I un I want to understand where you guys stand in terms of this sustainability, minimal wardrobe, all this. Mm. And today I was like blown away with your answers. I never imagined a young girl like you talking about all these things. I am so happy. All Thank the best you. for everything you do in the future. Thank you. <laughs> and all the best to you too. In this like era, like where the people like influencers doing hauls are like uh, they are earning through it. You are standing tall, like talking about the things no one talks about, like be it the brands which are like um, like exploiting their laborers or be it anything about the environment but you are doing a great job i think that made me so inspired by you i've always been following you last uh i guess many years i think you were new on youtube then when i was following you. so thank you so much for good words i am trying my best to do whatever i can in my capacity so i will continue doing that and please you do continue your part and spread knowledge about this minimalism and sustainability thank you so yeah. much thank you bye bye